Welcome to High Performance Posting to the GL. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, the inspiration for today's video came from a, a discussion on one of the forums about how to import import a, uh, uh, I think it was a half a million posting each day into into the GL, and um, you know pros and cons and how to make this actually fast. Um, so I thought that. I'm gonna address that today and see if we can do some high performance posting directly to the GL. And uh, let's actually start by talking about how things are working. So let me actually, here's the uh, general journal, but let me go to sales order just to, um, so, so we agree on the concept. So we have a sales order, sales invoice, sales document and purchases the same thing. So. When we post this document, we get a posted version in table 112 and on lines in 113 and, and so on. And we get GL postings, we get uh, customer posting, we get uh, inventory posting, all that. So in this case, we have the concept of we are posting and we get all the ledgers and sub ledgers filled out. And then we also get the posted document. So there's a double output from something like this, which is kind of how most of Business Central works with one very, very important um, exception. And that exception is the general journal. So you post, you put something into the journal and we, so, so we, we can, you know, we can do this. We can always post something to those work in progress tables, uh, accounts tables. Well, let me post here and then we hit F9 to post and say yes, and this is posted. So in this case, the line is gone and we do not have the concept of a posted journal table because that will just contain the exact same thing as has been posted to the GL. Uh, so the GL is both the outputted, um, the outputted uh, entries, but it's also the the posted document per se. It, it's it, the, the 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 thing is the same, and. Um, with, with that in mind, what we can actually think about is now, well, do we need the journal? So, so you know, traditional way to get some, if you got like a spreadsheet with a, uh, well, a lot of stuff in, then either we go with, you know, uh, and I, I'm, I was going to say editing Excel, but I don't have this in, in, in the documents I'm on here. Uh, but imagine there was an edit in Excel right up there. Um, so you you get the data in through the journal and then you post the journal. But if you have thousands, 10,000, 100,000 of line, that is just one big detour. Um, so what we can do is that we can actually employ the exact same a uh, method that Microsoft are using in, let's say the sales order, that when when we post a sales order here, we get a you know, we get a bunch of of GL entries, but we never actually so the 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 system is never creating a general journal in the database and then posting that. It's creating general journals in memory and posting directly from that. Uh, so I th thought that's what we're going to do in this video and, and see, um, see how fast that can actually be. So I have somewhere right here created a, um, a new app as usual. And we'll just, no, it doesn't really matter in this case. So we'll just create a action in processing called... Uh, HP post, high performance post. How about that? Uh, nothing. H HP has nothing to do with this video, by the way. Um, and and we'll just quickly create an action here. Wow, it's one of those those days. 
promoted through, promoted categories, process, promoted only. So all this stuff here, by the way, all this stuff is getting a rework in uh, in version 21. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, get get rid of this. Also, we have still have, you know, the promoted is big, which is a, has no effect in, in that that was back from the Windows client. Anyway, so we got an action, so we can do a trigger on action here and, and do some stuff. Um, so let's actually start by um, creating a variable to call GL post. And we're gonna use the code unit called uh, gen journal post line. AKA code unit 12. Let's see if that, um, I remember that right. I did. So this is, this is the workhorse. This is the one that's actually doing the work. And uh, we can see that it runs on the general journal line. Uh, so whenever you run this, you call it with a record, but that record does not have to be in the database. That record can be in memory. Um, but actually, since we're gonna do this uh, in, a, in a loop somehow and post a fair amount of uh, documents, let's create a procedure called post line. And we'll pass GL post code unit. So let's, we need to pass this uh, post line, the code unit in, uh, because we still want the code unit to, uh, uh, to do all the stuff that it needs to do. Um, and then we could have an account, code 20. We could have a, um, a doc number, oh, hang on, uh, which is a uh, text something. Uh, we could have a, um, uh, an amount. Let's see, uh, we probably need more decimal. Um, so for that, we need a variable, we need, we need a line. So we need, still need to have a general journal line. We need, we need, still need to have that, but we'll never put it in the database. So we don't care about batches. We don't care about line numbers. We don't care of templates and all those crazy things. The only thing we care about, we can do line in it. Um, and we care about a posting date. So we'll just set that to today. Why not? Um, maybe that should be a private drop here, but uh, we perhaps care about a document type. So let's set a document type to, in this case, I'm actually going to set it to the blank one, but, but in general, a uh, good idea to, uh, in, in, when you're writing code like this, so implicit fill out the defaults, even though that might be the default, if it has a meaning. So you people reading the code and say, oh, they did intend for this to be a document type blank. Um, document number should be, and you see, I don't even bother validating here uh, because valid, validation might re rely on, on stuff being, uh, uh, being, uh, relational uh, sound and and we don't care about that in this case but we do care about of course that the fields make sense and and are aligned so let's post wow not account id let's post this to account type uh, gl because that was what we tried to do account type gl we will um set the account number to be the account from our parameter. We will, do we want a description? Uh, we'll just put a description here right now. Um, and line amount is equal amount. There we go. Uh, and now I'll use my GL post that was, I passed as a variable here. Uh, say run with checks. If, if, if you're, you're dead sure, you can run without checks to get even more. But let's just run with checks right now. And then maybe later we can turn this off. 
So now we have posted this line. So let's go back up here and say, we know that let's create a, um, a variable. Let's figure out, um, uh, let's create a called decimal. And then we can do for i equal one to, let's post a hundred to begin with, right? So we want to post line and we want to pass our GL post here. And we want to use, let's remember those account numbers. I had, let's grab an account number. So 10, 9, 10, 10, 9, 10. And the next thing we need to do is a doc number. So we will call this, um, well, what did I do up here? Oh, yeah. So, you know, you can actually, if you do would like alt click and now you're editing multiple places at once, which is kind of cool. Uh, but also sometimes if you get to alt click somewhere and suddenly you're typing in the same place twice, um, we were going to do 10, 9, 10, and then we're going to do doc number is doc so zero one and amount is bell. So in this case, let's start by doing bell plus equal I. And then in the end, we probably need to do post line DL post and grab another account just to make this 10, 9, 20. And we're going to use the same doc number here. And then we're going to do minus bell. So hopefully this should balance. And we could do a uh, start time, which is a date time. So start time is equal current date time. And then let's add a, another function here called uh, message elapsed one, which is current date time minus start time. So we can see how long this takes. So what are we at? 50 lines or less. Uh, let's, let's see if this has any chance of working. There we go. That has been published. Welcome to Business Central. So I think somewhere we have HP posting. We're posting. So now this transaction gonna be completed because it will cost. Let's uh, let's uh, figure out what did I do wrong here. Oh, so now, okay, <laughs> that minus bell was probably, uh, that was too, too easy. So let's do bell two plus equal bell here. How about that? And then post bell two instead. If you yell at the screen, I deserve that. Let's try it again. HP posting. Okay. So we posted 200, uh, 100 and uh, actually 101 entries in a quarter of a second. Um, let's try to find a GL register. Um, and see that we posted here. Yeah. We got a posting, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so le okay, let's uh, let's actually add. Let's do a thousand entries instead. So now we're posting a thousand and one lines to the GL. So oh, let's see how that goes. One second, one point, one and a half second. Uh, so that's still pretty. Good. 
let's do I, I actually want to I find a number that so we can see when if we do anything else let's do 5,000 and just to make clear that that we are not running in anything that is any way can be considered a high performance environment so we're running on my laptop here fairly new laptop that is also running the recording software for uh, for the video and we are running to a a docker based uh, pc with limited to eight gigabytes of ram or something like that so so this cannot be considered high performance environment in any way so hopefully you should be able to get way better result than i am here and of course at some point we will hit some cache uh, things uh, where the database says oh, I, I i need to i need to do stuff um, but we got 5000 entries posted in less than 8 seconds so let's try to change this to the post without checks and of course there's no dimensions or anything this is this is fairly simple uh, um, let's try to change this to the run without check So can we remember what what was the number? Less than eight seconds. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Less than eight seconds. So we will hit this. What exciting times. Well, less than seven seconds. So we actually shaved uh, something off here. Um, but this was 5,000 lines. That was, uh, and one, and one, don't forget the one. 5,001 5, 5, GL entries posted. Uh, so, if you, so going going back to the original thing, that if you, if you have a um, an Excel sheet with the, with a lot of lines and you need to post that and and with a lot of lines i do mean with a lot of lines well imagine in, in that you, you upload the excel sheet to the excel buffer i think there's a video on the excel buffer i suggest subscribing and uh, so we got an upload time that is uploaded into memory again into a temporary table the excel buffer you run through this and you do this thing and uh, we were at, five, yeah, so seven seconds for five, uh, for 5,000 entries. So uh, if we say 50,000 entries, that's just over a minute. Uh, so if we do half a million entries there, that is just over an hour. Um, which is pretty good, I think. Um, anyway, let me know what if you if you try this, how how fast you can actually do this. If you have a a proper server and not just Eric running on a laptop uh, uh, here, uh, let me know in comments below. Or perhaps you wanna check out this video because that's a good one. I see you there. Take care. Bye.